Hey guys, it's Demonic Bishop here, I'm back! Um, I thought it was basically about time for a new video, seeing as you've been without me for the last two or three weeks, or however long it's been. It feels like a lot longer than that, I'm sure it has done to you as well. Um, especially since I've noticed recently that there has actually been a fair amount of, um, well, fair compared to uh, what it was previously anyway, but there's, yes, there has actually been a little bit of activity on some of my videos, which has been quite encouraging, I must say, so I'm very pleased about that. Thank you to all of you who have... Uh, took the time out of your day to come and watch some of my uh, modest videos. Um, I hope you're really enjoying them. Uh, just a quick update on some of those uh, series actually, because I know I've started quite a few series and not really updated some of them just yet. Um, but basically, um, my Kenshi Let's Play, I'm going to be doing a couple of uh, videos on extremely soon. I know they've been promised for a long while, um, but the game has had quite a lot of uh, updates to it in the last two or three weeks, so I'll probably end up installing those, seeing how the... Uh, how they go. I've already had a look at some of them actually and that's probably one of the reasons it's been taking a while for me to get some of these videos done just because I'm trying to get a bit more familiar with some of the new, uh, some of the new stuff that's been put in there so I can uh, be a little more informative for all of you. Um, further to that there's also been updates to several games actually including Infestation Survivor Stories um, and that's another game which, well some of that's a little uh, con controversial really but that's another game that I uh, also, I have to take a little more time out to uh, to get to grips with to be able to explain it to to you all in more detail. But anyway, enough of all that. Um, thank you for watching those. There should be links or whatever to all those uh, playlists and what have you uh, on this page. But anyway, uh, back to this series. This is a brand new series I'll be starting on a game that I literally only just discovered and started playing yesterday called Democracy Three um, by a development company called Positech Games. Um, I think if if some of you have ever played or heard of a game called Gratuitous Space Battles before. Um, they're the developers of that. I don't think I've ever played it or seen it myself personally, although I have heard the name. You know, I mean, if it, I'll, you know, I mean, never know. I might have a look at it if it turns out that it looks pretty good. Um, I'll probably give that a play too, and and that's the what well, do you know? That's the whole start of a new series for you all. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, back to this game. Um, so, what is this game? Well, basically. Um, I may regret doing a video series on this, to be quite honest with you, purely because uh, it's not the, uh, it's not really the most, well, it's probably entertaining, but um, in terms of sort of action, you know, it's not really the most interesting uh, fast-paced game to watch. It's effectively a database and uh, graph screen-based game. Um, it's not really any, uh, there's no sort of real graphics or anything other than sort of uh, logos and what have you. Um, but yeah, it's basically, uh, it's a game that allows you to assume leadership of a country of your choosing and basically um, go through a very in-depth um, strategy and simulation of um, ruling the country and trying to, uh, you know, bring down all of their uh, successive governments because they're all bastards who have probably fucked over all the uh, voters numerous times, just like real life. And basically, uh, it's your job to sort of sort all the uh, sort, of, sort of the bullshit out, basically, and um, to see if you can improve lives for the average citizen, try and get re-elected and uh, see uh, see what you can do. But I mean, the thing that's really interesting to me about this game, I mean, I only, uh, I only really discovered it yesterday, uh, since it was on a uh, Steam sale. Um, I think it was usually about just under 20 quid, which, to be fair for me, especially considering the kind of game that it is, um, seems to be quite a lot. Although, having said that, I've only had it for 24 hours now, and I've already played it for over seven to eight hours. So, yeah, it's definitely an extremely addictive game. It's really, really good fun. Um, I don't know if the sale's still on, but I mean, depending on how quickly I get this video out, um, it's down to about half price at the moment, about £9 on Steam. It's an independently developed game, um, just like the majority of the ones that I, uh, that I review and, and make videos of, but I'm sure you can probably purchase it through the developer's uh, own website, so if you can, then feel free to check that out, it's probably going to be really fun. Um, assuming you've actually come to this page to watch this video and you're not just here to listen to my amazingly masculine voice, but um, yeah, if, if you are here for, for the game in question, then definitely go and pick it up, because I'm sure it'll be really fun. I'm sure you'll really enjoy it. Um, but anyway, um, I'm just going to sort some of these mods out. I've downloaded a couple of mods, um, just because I've actually uh, been enjoying the game so much, I just wanted to get s as much uh, content for it as possible. You can see here somewhere, there it is, I've uh, downloaded also the uh, official uh, expansion uh, for this game as well, which is the social engineering one, which basically gives you... Uh, some extra policies and things, some other things to work with. Gives you a bit more leeway and some other sort of tactical options and things. As you, uh, if you're a uh, regular video, uh, regular uh, watcher of my videos by now, I'm sure you're uh, 
familiar with the fact that most of my videos and most of the games that I play are all quite similar. They all tend to be strategy games. Um, I don't know, that's probably just a phase I'm going through at the moment. <laughs> Not really too sure why, but um, I seem to be really enjoying all of these games. Um, and they're all really good fun, um, as you'll be seeing in the moment. It's an extremely uh, uh, well-balanced game. It's a very, very deep game. It's uh, got a lot of different um, outcomes as well, potential outcomes. And uh, it's really, really fun. So I'm just going to be uh, probably uh, spending the first part of this video, or probably the first part of this, uh, maybe all of this video to be honest with you, because it is an extremely uh, involved game. I'll be uh, basically explaining how it works, how you play the game, what the purpose is, and and all that sort of stuff will be uh, coming along soon. But um, anyway, first things first, what country shall we pick? Now, um, I haven't really tested, I've, I've briefly had a look at some of these uh, countries, there's quite a few here. Um, Greece, uh, most of these actually at the start are ones that I've introduced through modding. Um, in downloading Steam Workshop mods and what have you. But um, the, initially, if you if you were to buy this game, um, the, the, uh, the, the countries that you would start with would be the United Kingdom, France, Germany, the United States of America, um, Australia, and... Oh no, that's a, that's a modded one as well, Korea. But uh, yeah, there's basically five countries which... To be honest with you, it's more than enough to be getting on with anyway, because um, the actual sheer addictive nature of this game, it's probably unlike any other game that I've experienced, especially, you know, considering when you start the game up and it's all, you know, like this, sort of black and white, it looks like some sort of off-cast Apple uh, software, but then you really get into it, you sort of dig down into it, and with perseverance, when you, uh, when you get past the sli uh, slightly steep learning curve of this game, you really start to uncover some incredibly complex and... Uh, and very very fun gameplay which uh, always um, sways a game into my favour but um, I think for the purposes of this video and just generally because I'm not too experienced with this game yet um, just like most of the games that I do to be honest um, I'm going to pick the United Kingdom purely because I, I live here I'm more familiar with the way the political system and the government works here and uh, it should just basically make things a little easier as well for me because I've already done a couple of uh, playthroughs already on this game um, I've started the first one, which um, basically is a good example of the kind of thing that you can do with this game. You can have loads of fun with it. Um, you're not just limited to uh, a small amount of policies that you can put in place as the Prime Minister or President of your selected country. Um, you can pretty much change anything. You can legalise drugs, you can uh, re remove the police force if you want to. You can literally, you've pretty much got so much leeway and, and just so much... Uh, freedom to do what you want basically because that's what democracy is all about at the end of the day isn't it it's all about freedom of speech and freedom of choice and freedom of assassination <laughs> the, you'll uh, that's another good point as well actually yeah the uh, two or three games that i have tried to play so far i've uh, needlessly and uh, inevitably been assassinated every single time by various groups so that's another thing to watch out for hopefully we'll avoid that this term um, but we'll see how it goes anyway so united kingdom um, it's the United Kingdom, obviously, of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, possibly not Scotland at the moment, though, which is a current uh, political topical debate at the moment, which I would I personally like to see added into this game as a mod as well. And it seems quite easy to mod this game as well, so you never know if I, if I enjoy it that much and become that sad enough that I've got nothing better to do with my time, I may just create a, a, a mod for this game, and if I do, I'll release it and tell you all about it and all that sort of jazz. But anyway, um, just a warning, by the way, you've probably already turned off by now if you... Uh, if you don't like this sort of game, but trust me, uh, keep on watching if you are at least the very slightest bit intrigued because it is a lot more of a uh, compelling game than uh, first impressions would have you believe. Um, so here we go, uh, the BCD rate is 23%, tea consumption, <laughs> very racist, uh, casual racist stats here on, the, uh, on each of these um, countries. We've got Canada, maple syrup consumption, kimchi consumption of Korea, and here, where was that, where was that other good one? Here we are, vodka consumed from Russia. <laughs> Amazing. So yeah, here we go. Let's start the game. Um, we've got a population of 63 million, which seems to be quite accurate. That's one of the interesting and fun parts about this game, really. A lot of the stats and a lot of the uh, events and things that you that will happen to you and go through. Um, I'll be coming more into detail with these uh, later on, but um, they're all based in a lot of reality. Well, most of them are anyway. Um, especially, I actually ap applaud the uh, fact that this is an indie game purely because it seems to be a lot more on the ball and a lot more sort of up to date with modern or recent uh, world events. Um, a lot of the issues that are raised in the game and on some of the decisions you get to decide about 
a lot of them are uh, very recent things that if, if, you, if you're a follower, even in the slightest of politics or news in general, you'll probably have heard of some of these uh, issues come up in the media quite a lot. So it makes the game a lot more involving because you, you kind of think, well, basically the fact that the, uh, the some of the policies and things you get to decide on are so current, it really gives the, uh, the game a really good sense of uh, involving you in the, uh, the current happenings in the world. It's a very educational game. I actually have learnt a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, a lot of about a lot of things that I've heard about in the news and about politics that I sort of had some sort of uh, interest in or, you know, bent on that I, I'd uh, know about, but I, I didn't really understand them in detail. And this game has really sort of brought some of those to the fore for me and really kind of, you know, it's a very good educational tool for learning about how the political system works and how different things work, such as income ca uh, tax and all those sort of things that you hear about, but you never really understand fully in depth. Well, trust me. If you play this game, you really, really will understand them by the end of it. Um, I'm just going to set some of the options here for the game. Um, the term length is four years, which seems quite realistic. Um, <laughs> here we go. Here's the chance for some uh, for some fun. Players' party now. Name right. Um, hmm. What can I come up with? So yeah, um, this is one of the interesting, fun parts about this game. You get to have almost total control on how the the game will run. Um, as in all good simulation games such as Civilization and Age of Empires. Another couple of new games that I've started playing recently actually, which uh, which I was considering making videos on as I have a lot of games that i played recently, such as I've also had another extended run on Mountain Blade. Um, but um, yeah, that's another good game that I've really, really been getting into lately. I think that's probably the reason I haven't been making so many uh, videos lately, basically, because I've been so interested in playing that game, I've basically just totally neglected the uh, my, uh, my YouTube channel. Let's just get on with this here. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah. Let's give it one moment here. So yes, um... Right, let's start the game. So political apathy is going to be at 40... Um, let's say 54, 54% route. Yeah, why not? That's, that's going to be good enough. Just to make it a little more realistic with the current times, because I don't know about you, but the way I feel about the state of Britain in general at the moment, from uh, speaking to people, it basically seems like at least half the country's got to be uh, totally bored and out of touch with politics and just really cynical about it. And I'm going to reflect that in this game, uh, in this playthrough. All right, so uh, you notice that on this little audio screen, there's a couple of things at the bottom there, um, which <laughs> basically nice little uh, sort of. Uh, cheeky um, references to uh, things that happen in, in real life politics. So here we go with the gerrymandering constituencies and uh, compiling misleading statistics as well, which uh, I don't know about you. It's quite a, quite a bold statement, um, but probably quite realistic to be honest with you. We've all heard about some of those uh, ridiculous um, stories in the news um, and all the sort of dubious practices that go on with uh, British politics, definitely, anyway, in regards of uh, world politics, anyway, but anyway, here we go. Congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as Prime Minister. The lives of all 63,046,000 citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible, while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of your citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in four years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. So uh, yeah, there we go. That's basically a little introduction. Um, I'm I'm guessing that you're basically about to get the sense now of just how uh, how realistic and uh, true to real life politics this game is. You know, no stone is left unturned when it comes to uh, immersing you in the real role of a prime minister or president of a country. Um, here's just a few of the little basic, um, just a, a smidgen of some of the. Uh, variables that you have to bear in mind and, and basically the entire game's gameplay is all about a, a huge balancing act basically of different meters and stats uh, basically to try and improve your progress as much as possible try and keep dangerous threats to a minimum and basically just uh, keep everything ticking along nice and smoothly so you can keep getting re-elected that's basically the aim of the game but um, the cool thing about the game is you don't really have to do that yes you probably will fail especially uh, if you try and order um, if you try and order in some new policies and radical policies especially a bit too soon, um, but you know it's it's fun experimenting with all the different options and things that you have. Um, it's very very interesting, just basically. If basically if you if you've ever um, been of the opinion that you could do a better job than uh, real life politicians at running a country, then literally get this game and give it a go because I assure you, I've I've 
earn so much more respect for politicians after playing this game. It is definitely not as easy as it looks. Um, especially if you've got radical views and you want to try and get them implemented. Um, good luck with that, basically. But uh, yeah, this is uh, another cool thing as well. A really interesting thing is uh, each um, country that you pick to play as, uh, they have very realistic and very uh, recent, um, basically very up-to-date sort of rough guidelines of what the country is like at the moment. So as we see um, in real life, one of the big issues facing the country at the moment of England is crime. Definitely, poverty is still uh, still quite a big issue, which is quite a shame to be honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm not very proud of that. The fact that we're such a developed country, or allegedly anyway, and yet there is still a lot of poverty, um, relative poverty anyway, in, in the country. So that's definitely well represented within the game. Education's average and health and so on. Unemployment are all average as well. GDP is not really particularly good. Um, let's begin our term of office, shall we? Now, here we go. Here is the uh, beginning starter screen of the game. Um, it basically, uh, first impressions, probably not the best. It looks little more than a, uh, than a flash game. Um, and that's basically uh, the extent of all the graphical uh, capacity of this game. But do not let that put you off because uh, each of these little buttons here correspond to a different aspect of interesting gameplay. And uh, here we go. Um, I'm sure you can probably tell just how complicated this game is from this first impression here and that's definitely uh, definitely the case. You can uh, mouse over any of these buttons here and it will basically give you a list of, uh, well not so much a list, more of a spider diagram of how it relates to all other uh, issues and, and uh, events affecting your country. So for example here we've got a violent crime, definitely a big, uh, big part of the UK and always probably has been. Um, influenced by numerous amount of uh, different other uh, ideas. So for example, um, let's have a look here. So the police force, if you look, that's got a red arrow. So uh, the way that, that things are organized in this game is a little kind of counterintuitive at first, to be honest with you. Um, it can be a little confusing to work things out, but that's where some of the uh, that's where some of the uh, learning curve comes into play. But I mean, if you look at the police force here, that is having, you see the arrow here, um, sorry about that there, <laughs> um, but the, um, the speed that some of these arrows are travelling in towards the, uh, the centre button that you're hovering over, um, they basically show you how fast of an impact or how much of an impact it's uh, giving on to it. So education's having quite a slow effect, um, but since it's a red line that means it's decreased. Bear with me here. So uh, violent crime is a negative uh, aspect of England. Um, and obviously the red is negative too, so basically education, this is going to get a bit complex, but education is having a negative impact on violent crime. So in other words, education levels in the country are having a positive effect on removing violent crime, because obviously as people are educated, uh, that makes them less likely to fall into uh, bad circumstances, less likely to get involved in criminal gangs and the drug rings and all that sort of stuff, so therefore the violent crime will fall down. However, organised crime, which is one of these red buttons which uh, basically uh, represents a problem or a uh, circumstance that the, uh, your current um, administration is facing, um, organised crime is having a positive impact on crime, so in other words it is raising the amount of crime or having a good impact on the amount of crime that will likely to be seen in the country. So yes, um, that's basically an extremely basic overview of the way things work. Let's take something else, for example, alcohol consumption. Obviously a, a huge and uh, very in important part of any uh, any developable situation. But um, yeah, there's loads of absolutely fuck ton of things which uh, relate to this. So there's uh, poverty, it's having a, a positive impact on alcohol consumption, unemployment as well. <laughs> that's a little bit... The one thing you will have to get uh, used to in this game is that there are a lot of uh, very broad and probably very offensive, um, what's the word, uh, assumptions basically, generalizations on the uh, vast swathes of the population. But uh, don't, you know, don't really take too much offense to that because I mean it is a game after all and there are only so many ways that you can influence different things without it getting too technical to actually be playable. But um, yeah, so legal drug consumption as well, but apparently um, it's probably difficult to see there but um, the black line there basically means that it would have an effect, only a very small line there, but if legal drug consumption was uh, coming into play with my UK government, um, then basically that would be having some sort of effect on the level of alcohol consumption as well, but seeing as drugs are illegal in the UK and probably always have been for a long while, I don't expect that to change unless I deem it to be so, 
But basically, uh, unless I make a change to that law, um, drug consumption will always be connected to alcohol consumption, but it will, won't actually affect it. So that's a little explanation of that. All right, I think that's quite a few things covered. Uh, hopefully it's not been too boring so far. Um, I'm just going to take a short break, and then I'll probably make the second episode of this uh, very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, I promise to you, the next episode will be incredibly a lot more interesting, because we'll actually start uh, playing this game. I can show you what some sort of the gameplay is like, and you can see for yourself, from my uh, personal experience and from my voice here, just how excited and interesting I am uh, with this game, and how uh, enthusiastic I am to be playing this. Um, trust me, don't get me wrong, I'm not a total uh, fuck brain who's just getting ecstatic and pissing his pants in a bit of excitement over something so trivial and boring. Trust me, it's a very, very good game. But anyway, uh, I'll leave that for you to discover on the next episode. I'll leave you to look forward to that. Um, I'm going to be publishing videos quite a lot more frequently now, hopefully. Uh, so I expect to see quite a lot of episodes in this, all uh, released in, this, in a short space of time. So hopefully you won't have long to wait. Um, I understand this probably, uh, graphics-wise, and footage wise isn't as interesting as some of the other videos that I've done but hopefully I'm going to try and compensate with that with the speed of the uh, videos that I produce so hopefully you can be watching the videos and you know you won't have to wait too long because obviously it's going to be difficult to sustain interest for this sort of uh, the sort of game so I'm going to I'm going to do that I'm going to make it as interesting as possible release the videos very quickly probably making them a bit snappier than some of my other uh, games and basically just draw it out as long as possible to get as the most views as possible to be honest with you but Anyway, there we go. Thank you very much, everyone, for subscribing. I've had a couple of subscribers and things lately. Um, hopefully, you never know. I might get a couple more from this uh, from this video here, but we'll see. It depends how it goes. But, uh, yeah, this is incredibly exciting. Um, thank you for watching. I've been Demonic Bishop, and please check back incredibly soon for the next episode in the Democracy 3 the Let's Play um, that I'm currently experiencing. Thank you very much. See you soon.